Episode 38 Stella's Starry Odyssey. Once upon a time, in the charming town of Starhaven, there lived a young and curious girl named Stella. Stella was unlike any other child in her town. She possessed a vivid imagination that seemed to have no boundaries. And she had an insatiable curiosity about the universe and the stars that twinkled above. Stella's room was a testament to her fascination with the cosmos. The walls were adorned with posters of constellations, planets, and galaxies. And her ceiling was painted to resemble the night sky, complete with glow-in-the-dark stars every night. As she lay in her cozy bed, Stella would gaze up at the stars and dream of exploring the vast unknown. One evening, as she stared at the stars through her bedroom window, an idea sparked in her imaginative mind. What if she could embark on an intergalactic journey of her own? What if she could visit distant planets, meet fascinating alien creatures, and witness the breathtaking beauty of the cosmos up close? With these thoughts swirling in her head, Stella decided to turn her dreams into reality. She knew that the universe held endless wonders waiting to be discovered, and she was determined to be the one to explore them. The next day, armed with her trusty notebook, a telescope, and her boundless curiosity, Stella set out on her grand adventure. She began by studying the constellations and learning about the different planets in our solar system. She read books, watched documentaries, and soaked up as much knowledge as she could. As she delved deeper into her studies, Stella's imagination ran wild. She imagined herself traveling through wormholes, meeting friendly aliens on distant moons, and even riding on the rings of Saturn. The more she learned, the more real her dreams became. Stella's enthusiasm for her cosmic journey was infectious, and soon, her friends in Starhaven couldn't help but catch her excitement, Luna, Oliver, and Finn. Her closest companions joined her in her quest to explore the universe. Little did they know that Stella's vivid imagination would soon lead them on a sorry odyssey like no other together. They would set off on an adventure that would take them to the farthest reaches of the cosmos, where they would encounter wonders beyond their wildest dreams. And so, with the stars as their guide and the universe as their playground, Stella and her friends embarked on an intergalactic journey that would forever change their lives. Little did they know that their dreams would become reality in ways they could never have imagined. With their minds brimming with excitement and wonder, Stella and her friends, Luna, Oliver, and Finn, embarked on their cosmic voyage. Their journey took them to the heart of Starhaven's observatory, where they peered through a powerful telescope to observe the planets and stars. Stella, with her telescope skills honed through countless nights of stargazing, guided her friends through the vast celestial landscape Luna marveled at the moon's craters. Oliver was captivated by the elegant rings of Saturn. And Finn couldn't contain his fascination with the fiery red surface of Mars. As they gazed at the night sky, Stella's imagination ignited. She began to tell her friends about the stories and myths associated with the constellations. She shared tales of brave heroes, mythical creatures, and ancient gods all woven into the sparkling patterns of stars above. Luna, always inquisitive, asked Stella, Do you think we could visit those constellations and meet the characters from those stories? Stella grinned and replied, Why not? In our cosmic adventure, anything is possible. With that, Stella led her friends to a makeshift spaceship they had constructed from cardboard boxes and... Imagination! They climbed in, and with a countdown and imaginary rocket thrusters, they blasted off into the starry expanse. Their first stop was the constellation of Orion. As they approached, they saw the three distinctive stars that formed Orion's belt. But to their amazement, 
The stars began to shimmer and transform into three radiant beings. It was as if Orion himself had come to life. Orion greeted them with a booming voice. Welcome, young travelers. I am Orion, the hunter of the cosmos. What brings you to my constellation? Stella explained their quest to explore the universe and learn from the stars themselves. Orion was pleased to meet such curious children and agreed to be their guide. He led them through the stars, sharing stories of his adventures and teaching them about navigation in the night sky. As they bid farewell to Orion and continued their journey, Stella couldn't help but feel grateful for the incredible experiences they were having. Her friends too were filled with awe and wonder at the limitless possibilities of the cosmos. Their next destination was the Great Bear constellation, Ursa Major. To their delight, they met the playful spirit of Ursa, who showed them how to find the North Star and use it as a guide. They learned valuable lessons about direction and the importance of having a guiding light in life. With each constellation they visited, Stella and her friends absorbed knowledge, wisdom, and inspiration. They encountered Pegasus, the flying horse, who encouraged them to reach for the stars, and Draco, the dragon, who taught them about courage and determination. As their cosmic voyage continued, Stella and her friends couldn't help but feel that they were part of something much bigger than themselves. They were discovering the true magic of the universe, the power of imagination, the joy of learning, and the beauty of the stars. And so, with their imaginations as their spaceship and the stars as their companions, Stella and her friends ventured deeper into the cosmos. Little did they know that their adventure was just beginning, and the wonders of the universe were waiting to be explored. As Stella and her friends ventured deeper into their cosmic odyssey, their excitement continued to grow. Each constellation they visited held its own unique surprises and lessons. Their next stop was the majestic constellation of Leo, the Lion. To their astonishment, the stars that formed Leo's mane began to shimmer and ripple like a golden river. Out of this radiant display emerged Leo himself. A regal and benevolent lion with a voice that rumbled like distant thunder. Leo welcomed them warmly. Greetings, young travelers. I am Leo, the guardian of courage and strength. What brings you to my constellation? Stella explained their mission to explore the universe and learn from the constellations and stars. Leo was impressed by their determination and offered to teach them about bravery and standing up. For what is right, he told them tales of his own valor and shared stories of heroes who had faced great challenges. With newfound courage in their hearts, Stella and her friends bid farewell to Leo and continued their journey. Their next destination was the delicate constellation of Lyra, the Harp. They were serenaded by the sweet music of the stars as they approached. Lyra, a graceful and ethereal figure, welcomed them with a song that seemed to resonate with the very essence of the universe. She taught them about the beauty of harmony and the importance of following their passions. She encouraged them to listen to the melodies of their hearts. As they departed from Lyra's constellation, Stella and her friends carried the melodies with them, inspired to pursue their dreams and passions. Their next encounter was with Taurus, the bull, a constellation known for its determination and steadfastness. Taurus shared tales of perseverance and the importance of staying true to one's path. He encouraged them to face challenges with unwavering resolve and to never give up on their goals. Their cosmic journey continued, and they met Cygnus, the swan, who taught them about grace and transformation. They learned that change could be a beautiful process, like a swan evolving from a signet to a majestic bird. With each celestial encounter, Stella and her friends grew wiser and more inspired. They were like sponges, absorbing the wisdom and lessons of the universe.
The stars had become their mentors, guiding them on a journey of self-discovery and growth. But as they traveled deeper into the cosmos, they couldn't help but wonder about their own place in the universe. They longed to understand how they, as children from Earth, fit into this vast and wondrous tapestry of stars and constellations. Their quest for answers was just beginning, and they knew that the universe held even more mysteries and adventures in store for them. With their hearts full of gratitude and their minds filled with wonder, they looked ahead to the next part of their cosmic odyssey. As Stella and her friends ventured deeper into their cosmic odyssey, they found themselves in the constellation of Orion, the mighty hunter, Orion. A towering figure with a belt of three bright stars welcomed them with a hearty laugh. Ah, uh, young travelers, you have come to learn from the hunter of the skies, Orion exclaimed. He shared stories of his adventures, tracking celestial prey across the vast expanse of the universe. But he also emphasized the importance of balance, knowing when to hunt and when to protect. Orion taught them about the delicate harmony of nature and the need to preserve the beauty of the cosmos. He encouraged them to be stewards of the universe, caring for the stars and constellations as they would for their own planet. With gratitude for Orion's wisdom, Stella and her friends continued their journey, arriving at the constellation of Ursa Major, the Great Bear, to their amazement. The stars forming the Great Bear's coat twinkled brightly, illuminating the path to wisdom. The Great Bear, a gentle and wise giant, shared stories of ancient knowledge passed down through the ages. He spoke of the importance of learning from the past, drawing strength from history, and carrying forward the lessons of generations. With newfound wisdom, Stella and her friends left Ursa Major and ventured deeper into the cosmos. They soon reached the constellation of Pisces, the fish, where they encountered two ethereal fish swimming in opposite directions but forever bound. Together, the fish, with their eyes sparkling like galaxies, taught them about the interconnectedness of all things in the universe. They learned that everything they did, every action they took, had a ripple effect across the cosmos. Stella and her friends felt a profound sense of responsibility and unity with the universe. They knew that their actions could make a difference not only on Earth, but also among the stars. Their final destination on this leg of their journey was the constellation of Cassiopeia, the Queen. Cassiopeia, a regal and confident figure, shared stories of leadership and the importance of using their voices to inspire positive change. She encouraged them to be leaders in their own right, to stand up for what they believed in and to be beacons of hope in a world filled with challenges. Stella and her friends left Cassiopeia's con, stellation with a renewed sense of purpose and determination. As they continued their cosmic odyssey, they realized that their journey was not just about learning from the stars and constellations. It was also about discovering their own potential and the profound connections that bound them to the universe. With each constellation they encountered, they grew stronger, wiser, and more inspired. They had become cosmic explorers, ambassadors of Earth in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Their adventure was far from over, and there were still many wonders and mysteries awaiting them among the stars. But with hearts full of courage, wisdom, and a sense of purpose, they looked ahead to the next part of their cosmic journey. Join us in the next part of Stella's Starry Odyssey as our young explorers continue to navigate the wonders of the universe, uncovering the secrets of the cosmos and embracing their role as cosmic connectors. Tonight's adventure ends here. But the fun never stops. The stars have twinkled, the dreams have been woven, and tonight's bedtime story has come to a close. But guess what? The adventure doesn't end here. Meet our bedtime pals. Say hello to Luna Finn 
Oliver and Stella, your dreamy friends who are always up for more magical tales. More adventures await. Before you drift into dreamland, hit that subscribe button and ring the bedtime bell. We've got countless enchanting stories waiting just for you. Cozy up for the night. Join our dreamy family and let's make bedtime the best time. Your dreams are our inspiration and together we'll create a world filled with cozy blankets, sweet dreams and endless adventures. Until tomorrow, sleepy stars.